at 602 right now and new this morning. The former president of USA Gymnastics facing charges and this is a photo of him being taken into custody in Tennessee. Steve Penny is his name and he is now accused of hiding evidence in connection to the Larry Nassar investigation. And as Nick Nanaselli reports, this is news that Nassar survivors have been waiting for. Good morning. The name Steve Penny is one that many of Nassar's abuse victims turned survivors have been saying, pointing the finger, saying that he should be held accountable for something. And now, as you can see in this photo, he has been arrested, accused of tampering with evidence. He's accused of removing documents. You were part of an organization that, in effect, prioritized medals and money over the young women and girls. If you have been following the never ending Nasser story, Steve you'll remember the name Steve Penny. He's the former president of USA Gymnastics who resigned amidst all the allegations of Nasser's abuse. When he was hauled in front of a Senate committee investigating how Nasser's abuse could reign for so long, he refused to answer anything. My understanding is that uh, you waited 41 days to contact law enforcement. Is that correct? Again, okay, Mr. Chairman, respectfully, I would like to answer your question. However, I've been instructed by my attorney to assert my rights under the Fifth Amendment. And you now we right. know Steve Penny was arrested last night in Tennessee, accused of tampering with evidence. He was indicted by a Texas grand jury. Prosecutors there say he ordered the removal of documents from the Caroli Ranch, where Olympic teams went to train and where many athletes were sexually abused by Nasser. The indictment alleges some of the documents were delivered to Penny at the USA Gymnastics headquarters in Indianapolis, and they remain missing, according to the Texas prosecutors. Now, this charge is a third degree felony, so if found guilty, if he's convicted, he could spend up to 10 years in prison. I'm Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.